In this video, we'll try to better understand Imaris Vantage and Imaris Batch as they will enable you to fully benefit from the upcoming Imaris 8. How can Imaris Vantage and Batch help you analyzing your images today? Well, first, Imaris Batch functions will enable you the automation of your image analysis on a list of multiple files. Let's start by having a look at a first example. On this PTK2 cell image, we have three channels. One blue, showing the nucleus DNA, one green, showing the microtubules, and one red, showing the kinetochores. Let's focus on the kinetochores, and let's pretend we'd like to quantify them in this Z-stack. One thing we have already done here is to model them using our Spot tool. In the Spot property area, on the second tab, we can find a summarize of all parameters used for the creation of the red kinetochore spots. Now let's again pretend that we'd like to reproduce the same analysis on three other Z-stacks from other experiments. We need to send these particular spot creation parameters to the batch module by clicking on the button Add to Batch. Now in the batch module, a new batch task has been added named Spots. By highlighting this task, I can find in the common parameter area the corresponding functions added. Here, open a file and generate spots with the parameters I had used before to generate my kinetochore's red spots. By clicking on Add Files, I can do a multiple selection of the next images I want to process. Then, just click on the Run button to actually batch process them. Once the job over, by clicking in the input file, I can inspect the input image which was used for this particular batch process. In the example I am showing you, I have taken three times the same image and renamed it 1PTK2 cell or 2PTK2 cell and 3PTK2 cell. By clicking on the first output file, I can inspect the Imaris output file created with the scene containing the new spot automatically created by Batch. Here, in the Statistic tab of the New Spot Properties area, I can find the total number of spots created, 42. Furthermore, by clicking on the second output file, I can check in the output Excel sheet generated all the statistics calculated for these new spots of this new image and again I have access to the total number of spots generated, 42. This was an example to show you how easy it is to use Batch to automate the same job on multiple files so that you can use your time for something else. Now let's see how we can improve our communication by using iMaris Vantage annotations. In this same example, I have created three annotations to better illustrate my kinetochores, nuclei staining and tuberin staining. I can rearrange them in the 3D space the way I'd better like to create a video or to take a snapshot for my presentation. Imaris Vantage enables us to easily create customized annotation in the 3D space but can do much more. With Imaris Vantage, I can generate beautiful analytical graphs for a paper or for my PowerPoint. For instance, here I'm showing the raw data of my Z-Stack in the XYZ 3D space. I can model all my signal using the Surface tool to quantify my total number of objects and color code them according to their shape, all this in the XYZ 3D space. Then, using Imaris Vantage, I can now switch to an analytical space where I can create a gallery of my object. I can sort my object and color code them according to their volume. Now, it is also possible to generate a 2D graph of the segmented object to see two parameters at the same time, such as the volume and their sphericity. Following the same idea, I can have a 3D graph to inspect one more parameter. With the color, it makes four parameters to look at in total. These kind of graphs can also use the raw data instead of the segmented objects. We can also compare in the same graph multiple population present in a single image or from two different images or more. Population comparison is then made easy using whisker plots. It is also possible to generate kinetic graphs for time-lapse images in 2D and in 3D. Let's have a look at a time-lapse image to see how these kinetic graphs look. This image is a 2D time image of swimming alga. 
I have artificially created two populations of algas to compare them. The red population on the right and the blue on the left. Now, in Ameris Vantage, I can follow over time any calculated statistic, like here, the speed of my red population. I can also follow a particular statistic for two populations over time to see how they compare one with another. And even more, now I can even follow three parameters over time for my two populations. That's great! Imaris Vantage is a great analytical tool to create and present complex datasets in colorful, high-dimensional plots like the examples here on the left. Imaris Vantage is a fast and easy way to inspect effects and rationalize your experiment images. Now, one last thing I would like to share with you is how you can use Imaris Vantage to improve your image segmentation. In this last example, we have a Z-stack of multiple chloroplasts rendered in green. By using the Surface tool, we can segment this image and classify our chloroplast straight away in a Vantage Gallery. This enables us to spot out pretty fast some unexpected shapes of chloroplast. Are these chloroplasts really different and less spherical from the others? Now I can select one or multiple suspicious chloroplast in my 3D space by clicking or, alternatively, sort my table according to the sphericity statistic and do a multiple selection of the less spherical objects. Switching back to the surface 3D view, all my suspicious objects selected are highlighted in yellow. From here, it is pretty easy to notice that in the whole number of chloroplasts, the suspicious ones don't have a different shape, but were not well separated during my segmentation process. Therefore, I can rebuild my surfaces trying to optimize my parameters by, for instance, adding the splitting option function. I'd like to say here that for this particular example, I had of course not optimized my segmentation at all from the beginning, just for the sake of the example. Well, that's better. Now my chloroplasts are better separated. Again, I can switch to the Vantage view and easily create a new gallery of my optimized segmented chloroplasts. Now, let's say we'll sort them according to their volume and focus on the biggest ones. Are there really that many chloroplasts bigger? Back to the 3D view, I can notice that the suspicious highlighted chloroplasts in yellow, again, were not well separated. Then, I can decide to optimize again my segmentation parameters or just manually delete the not wanted chloroplasts and just ignore them. By switching from the Vantage view to the Surpass view back and forward, I can improve easily my segmentation. In this way, I check pretty easily that my experiment setup is OK to measure my biological effect of interest. This is really nice compared to the fastidious task to export all data to Excel, for instance, creating a graph and then trying to match points from that graph to the object in the 3D image. Both Imaris Vantage and Batch help you doing better analysis, easily, fast, and help you present your results in a meaningful and beautiful way. Furthermore, you need them soon to fully benefit from the upcoming Imaris 8. To know more about Imaris 8 and our amazing discounts on until Christmas, please visit our website or contact us. Thank you for listening to this video.